from the Harold Jaffe Jeweler Studios. Welcome to Love My 419. My name is Nick Comives. I'm here today with the great, fabulous Sandy Eisenberg. I know you looked at Steve. You thought I was going to say him. And, and, <laughs> I think I'm worried. And Steve Remy. Hey, uh, he's great, too. He yes. is great, too. And we're here today. Bill's out. He's on vacation. Yes, he's out buying 800 thread sheets. Oh, God. <laughs> right. All right. White ones. We are going right on. So today on the program, <laughs> in a little bit, we're going to be joined by one of uh, the Toledo's greatest, uh, yeah. mace, most well-known mayors of all time, Mr. Carlton Finkbeiner. He's going to talk to us about water yep. and mm -hmm. Stormy Daniels. Mm -hmm. uh, also this week, thousands of kids marched all over the yes, country in D.C. and right here in Toledo. So we're going to cover that a little bit. We're going to talk, of course, about the Stormy Daniels yes, interview, how can you miss it, spankings yes. and all. And then uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Roseanne as well. So yes. stay tuned with us. This is Love My 419, and we'll be right back to discuss all of that and more. Love My 419 is brought to you by Harold Jaffe Jewelers. Without them, there is no Love My 419. And without Love My 419, how do you know that all the wonderful people, places, businesses and things that make up the 419? So stop into Harold Jaffe Jewelers anytime, Monday through Saturday, and let them know how much you appreciate them, bringing you the quality television like Love My 419. They're awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for watching Love My 419. More Love My 419 in just a moment, but first we've got our good friend Jeff Jaffe here with us. Woo! How are you? Happy, happy Easter. Happy, 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 Easter. happy Passover. Happy yeah. Passover. Is that an April Fool's yeah. joke? No, that's no. it. Uh, that's it. <laughs> are you and sure? happy birthday, Michael Eisenberg. Really? Yes. Happy birthday, Mikey. Yeah, yes. that one is an April Fool's joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was supposed to be a St. Patrick's Day baby, so that's what tells you why. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you know what? Welcome to April. Yes. yes. Do you know what birthstone? Do you know what birthstone is Diamond. April? Diamond. Diamond is right. Oh, oh, they're a right. girl's best friend. Yes, that, they are. They're, they're everybody's best, <laughs> best friend. Yes, they Especially are. Especially Jeffrey's. <laughs> and they, uh, the fun part about them, and a lot of people, uh, we, we hosted a uh, group of uh, students recently in the store, and one of the things we were talking, we are actually showing them our capabilities and custom design and things like that, but one of the things that I realized that a lot of people don't know is mm -hmm. that diamonds come in vi virtually every color, color. of the uh, rainbow, if you want. Um, mm -hmm. And so... We, uh, we have a pretty good assortment of, of diamonds um, of all colors at the store. Not all colors, most colors. Mm -hmm. And uh, April is a perfect opportunity to show somebody you love. Oh. I don't have diamond. one, so if you want to buy me a hey, ring. I love you. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll take a ring. Cool. Right. Why are you looking have at that? Have him buy it for him. <laughs> <laughs> She's not right. <laughs> <laughs> She's more left than right. Yes, yes. she is. Uh -huh. yeah. I am. <laughs> That much is true. <laughs> I used to, no, they used to say when I was running, she's a Republican when it comes to finance and a Democrat when it comes to people. You know what? Nothing wrong with that. That's what I said. Why don't you run again? Because I'm getting too old for that crap. Oh, okay. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, you, you can, can say that. Okay, I gotta know. Go. We're throwing it, you know, away yep. from diamonds. Yep. What did you think about the Stormy interview and the spanking? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not surprised about any of it, um, and uh, I, I can't wait to see the video. Oh, I you didn't really even... think it's on that uh, There's CD. There's gotta be. All right. Uh, you don't know. You don't know, but it's nice to think. It's fun to think about it. Yes, it, it is. is. Here's something that's not fun to think about. You saying spanking ever again. <laughs> so, we're going to be back in just a moment. <laughs> Fire cushion. Your promise, your commitment, so magnificent it will ignite her passion. Its unmatched beauty expresses the power of your love. The most perfectly cut, most gorgeous cushion diamond in all the world. Fire Cushion, exclusively at Harold Jaffe. Welcome back to Love My 419. My name is Nick Comives. I'm in for Donald Trump's minion, Bill Delaney. <laughs> so love you, Bill. I love, love you. It, yes. I promise you. Yes. As you both, as everybody out there knows, this is Steve and Sandy here with me today. Hi. And, uh, hi. 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 Yes. Let's start. Let's talk about some popcorn. Let's talk about some popcorn. You know what? It's, what did you get in your basket this morning? I know it's your business, but you know. <laughs> But I what? got what I normally got. Did Lots you of get delicious candy, candy that I don't need. I didn't get any because it's Passover. Oh, well, there's that. I got popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Speechless at last. Right. <laughs> Rachel Michaels. Popcorn. Unless it was kosher for Passover. Well, there's that. There's that. Yeah, but there's stories that can Yes, about. but popcorn. And you want to know how to get free popcorn? Yes. If you mention Love My 419, get your free mini bag of popcorn. Thanks, yeah. Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. That. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah. I want some popcorn right now. Right. Uh, anyways, all right, we're going to talk about some hot stuff in the 419. Are we ready? I'm hot ready if you're ready. Sizzling. Kroger takedown video. Whoa. Hey. Tons of shares. Lots of buzz on the old internet. Wow. Hey, if you can twerk in the Walmart, you can take down in the Kroger's. That's all I'm saying. All I can say. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Man, that girl really put up a fight, though. She shut up. What did you have? She know. shut up. What, is she, what was she doing with those people anyway? I think she was on her way out with a few items and uh, security guard got, got yeah. all taken away. Security guard said, look, we're not having it, okay? <laughs> Look. Whatever he said. He said, limes are not cheap. Lemons are not cheap. No you're, not, you're not skipping out of here with this fruit, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, well, oh, my gosh. Apparently, Andrew Z said she was in the wrong. Well, she was shoplifting, I guess, so it is against the law. It is against the law, yeah. <laughs> that's fair. But you know, hey, nobody likes a cocktail without a fresh garnishment. She's entitled to a lemon wedge, so... There you go. That's all right, a hot right. take on it. <laughs> that's, that's a hot take Be for Be careful sure. where the limes came from if you ever have a exactly. drink in this place. Basically, you're saying don't hang out with Steve. Yeah, I got that's you. it. <laughs> Dangerous. Well, this past week, City Council voted in a tie, which is the yes. first time mm. this year we've had a tie okay. about a, a treatment facility opening right. up on Jefferson. Jefferson at Collingwood, that old building. It was a beautiful old mansion beautiful in its old day. I, I went inside it this week. It's still beautiful inside. And, 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 they, and, and they've used that building for uh, organizations to help people throughout the community. Yeah. So what's the big difference? Well, people are upset right now because they feel like, uh, and I'm using their term here, that it's become a dumping ground of facilities. Oh, that yeah. is not true. Yeah, I think it's, I, what, I, what I know about it, I think they think the area is saturated too much with that type of facility. And But I mean, you're meeting the need. If the other place is it's there. It's for 16 beds. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, offices for psychologists. Mm-hmm. Uh, a treatment center, so these folks can sit and have meetings, sort of like AA. Right. And Al-Anon. Right. Mean, and they're already clean. They just need an opportunity to be somewhere to get back on their feet. Right. That's what we're so asking So I, I don't understand the reluctance of 10 or 12 neighbors that, you know, and I feel badly about Yvonne Harper, Councilman Harper, because I know that's in her district, but she's got, what, 10, 12 Obnoxious white neighbors that don't want any minorities anymore in the well, neighborhood. Is that it? She's saying is that, that it? She's saying that her district is saturated with that type of facility. She's not wrong. There are a lot of them there. She is there, right. And, about there are, that. and there are treatment facilities sort of sprinkled throughout Toledo. And in fairness, there could be more elsewhere, and we're gonna work toward that. Right. right. But right now the immediate need and the reality is that in the interim, if we kick this can down the road. People will die. That's right. People will die. That's right. right. And to me, and if you're expecting the president of the United States to do one single thing that's going to help the opioid crisis, right, in this country, don't expect. Well, and too I, much. I think that the need is most in that district. Well, that's the argument from the providers. I don't know. Right. I looked at the obituary page one day this week. There were probably four people that died of opiate overdoses. Yeah, yeah. their toxicity yeah. to fentanyl and heroin. Every, all all the experts say it's about money and it's about beds. They've got $226,000 in grant money from the state and the county. Right. They've got a facility they own. We right. can be treating people. Yeah, meet so the need. I, I think that's the need that has to be met and you got to start with meet small steps and there that's just that the way it is. It speaks to a bigger problem that we've got to start planning. If the federal government's about to send us a lot of money to fight yeah, this Well, program, I wouldn't hold my breath on the feds right. sending me a lot of well, money. That's agree. fair. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> we, got, we got one more thing to talk about that was hot in the 419. Uh, Lots of kids marched yes. downtown, marched, they were marched, so marched across eloquent. the country. I think it's so great. eloquent. I, I watched it for great. a couple hours. I mean, 
I mean, the stories and the sadness of it all and just how wonderful these young people are and how they speak so eloquently. Yeah. Oh, my heavens. It's a movement, and it, I feel strongly that it's a movement that is going to evoke change. Absolutely. Yeah, well, hopefully the guys in Washington that went home for the weekend <laughs> will watch television when they're home. Right, right. Including the president who is down golfing and having fun in Florida. Right. Yeah. And I think the NRA, they're listening. I mean, these kids are sending a powerful message. And I NRA think NRA is up there saying they're pathetic and it's not necessary. And that one rapper that's ranting and raving, an ex-rapper that was ranting and raving mm -hmm. about uh, yeah. the kids and they should be ashamed and blah, blah, blah. Well, blah, blah, the exciting blah, thing is blah. literally... I don't know how many thousands of kids. Thousands, thousands of Toledo kids. Across hundreds, the country. Across the country. And I would bet you more of them went to the president's inaugural. Oh, yeah. I think so, for sure. And yeah. I, I know that I was one of probably 20, 30 people registering these kids to vote. Oh, that's good. Awesome. good. And that's what's going to take to change, well, right? So, absolutely. And so. if they go and vote, you can register, but you got to vote. Yes. Go and vote. Yes. And when you, uh, when you go and vote, remember how much you love my 419. So, anyways, we'll be yes. right back in just a moment. Love My 419, brought to you in part by the Joe Hamill team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the 419, Toledo City Paper's best realtor. Welcome back, everybody. We're here with a special guest who certainly doesn't need any uh, introduction. Well, I'll introduce him anyway. But I'm going to introduce him anyway. So we have former <laughs> mayor, Cardi Finkbeiner turned water activist in Toledo, I would That's say. That's a good guy, water an, activist. And he's not, he's a, still an activist in a lot of other areas. He is, he is. But right now, focused on one issue more than any others, I would say. And uh, pleased to have you here, as always. Love seeing you. Uh, we're back with Steve and, and Sandy as well. So jump right in. Tell us what you think. Toledo has owned its uh, water system and done a respectable job of providing not only for Toledoans, but for all of Northwest Ohio for way too many years. For a moment in time when Toledo is less wealthy than it once was and very much needs every penny that it can uh, control to surrender its, its, its water system for a quarter mm -hmm. to suburbia. I'll only say Dennis Kucinich, uh, once a congressman, once a mayor, twice a presidential candidate, has called the deal before Toledo today grand water theft. And I believe he's right the way I have read this offer. So I'm not against a regional water system. I am against anybody but Toledo owning that regional water system, and Toledo should have a majority of the power, if you will, on that water mm -hmm. system. Okay. I, mean, I know that Sandy and Steve, you two might have something to say um, about this. My, I have a concern about this commission that they're going to set up, or quote unquote, the Water Authority, mm -hmm. uh, that these folks are going to be making 25000 plus 10000 a, a year on four meetings a year. So that's 40000 times seven. Why? I mean, if they want to do something good for their city, and why wouldn't they just donate their time like yeah. other bo people on boards? Yeah, most of the boards are, have unpaid positions. Right. Some of them I mean, if you're going to talk about if you're going to talk about a corporation like Toledo Edison or uh, Prometica or one of the big corps in town, I can understand that. That's a whole different prospect. But to do this and to pay to sit on a water authority. I think and that's a lot of money. Well, it's a lot of money. I want to know who's going to sit on it. A bunch of busted old politicians, the, probably. The cost Not is, including me, folks, or the cart man. None of us, <laughs> to the best of our knowledge. Right. And, and the amount of money spent over the next two years studying it is $5 million, oh. with the city ponying up half of the $5 million. And at the end of that, if they decide they're not going to go forward, it's $5 million down the, down the tube. Yet and Why? still our water price of water goes up. It's not the water that goes up. It's the sewage to uh, clean the water. There okay, you go. that's Thank it. You, Sandy. Yeah. So Thank remember, every time much. you flush the toilet, it's costing you a fortune. Oh, my. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, But that Sandy. is true. And incidentally, on that point of one little known, and I frankly, it, had, it was dramatized the other night in the meeting, uh, the suburbs do not want the sewer 
uh, ch the sewer challenges, I'll mm -hmm. put it that way, okay. of, of the city. They only want the pure water of the city of okay. Toledo, not the sewer. And frankly and candidly, if you're ever going to sell a system, you should sell the whole well, system, the whole right. system, not just the, right. pure, the water part it is of the not a, It's not a fair deal for the city of Toledo. So in, in the MOU that's proposed, the Memorandum of Understanding, they leave open the option for sewage to go toward uh, the Toledo water, Area Water Authority eventually. Do, is it your um, idea that they won't do that? Is that what you... I'm you told that, that the there's they not won't? much enthusiasm for wanting anything but the water and not the sewer part of the uh, equation. Sure. So you've been attending all of the meetings around the city. As we, you have. As I have, yes, indeed. Lively discussion. Lots of folks coming out, which I, I love. I love to see people passionately interested, right. in paying attention to what's happening in their lives, because there are decisions that happen all the time that have massive impacts. This happens to be one of those. But what's your take on how the meetings are going? Do you find people being engaged, asking good questions, being able to ask good questions? How do you? It's improved from the first or second meeting where it was a dog and pony show. Now that they're allowing some give and take between the questionnaires and the so-called expert that the Chamber of Commerce has hired. And incidentally, uh, for what it's worth, I am just apparently disgusted with the Toledo Regional Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. because this one is, is the Chamber of Commerce, not council so much, Chamber of Commerce forcing and, and led by uh, Peter Gerken, a county commissioner, forcing the city uh, to act upon this, not even wanting deliberate study of it. I, I think the Blade editorial today made some sense where they asked for a, uh, a trip to some of the cities that have yeah, both that accepted it week, right? and rejected yeah, right. it, and both accepted and rejected. I thought that made some sense. I'd What's, like to see the um, Chamber of Commerce well, get out. Well, if, 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 if Peter is looking to parlay, quote unquote, his authority, by pushing for this water authority, I would be more concerned about why. You're cl as close to as a former city councilman, and thank God you were one city councilman remembers the city, another when Mr. Gherkin has forgotten that he was a UAW worker, depended upon Toledo Water, a Jeep, and now as a county commissioner, frankly, who's selling out the city of Toledo. And I look that camera right in the eye and say, Mr. Gherkin, shame on you. I agree. There you go. Wow. wow. All right. Well, I think this is a lot of good discussion. If you, I have, think you know, I think the card man needs to come back again when we have more time. <laughs> I mean, this is going to go on for a while, right? The, if it if it's to go forward, city council will be t voting on an ordinance in September. It's going to trigger a voter referendum, so all of Toledo will get their say, uh, and, and the November ballot. Um, Did you we say get there? September? I said September is when the ordinance will be voted on, yeah. Not by the general public. Not by the by general the city, public. City yep. council. Yeah, city council will vote in September on an ordinance and then the general public will get to vote in November. So that's if we get to that point, we're gonna we'll see, you know. I mean there are discussions that are happening. I think what's great is that we have some time to have these that's discussions. True. And I'm I really think it's true. important. And I think I'm happy that Toledo is so engaged. I think it's a wonderful thing for Toledo. So Well I'm dying to know. <laughs> I'm just dying to know your thoughts on this whole stormy interview. And the, the Donald Stormy Trump. Stormy Daniels and Don. Spanking. The Don. The easiest way to put this is uh, <laughs> in the history of American presidencies, and there have been, have been a few other Lulus as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> is, there, is there anyone who has been more disgusting, I, not only in his personal life, but he can't even hire lawyers now? Among other things, no right. lawyer is confident that he will pay the bill right. if, he, if they hire him. Right. He's a disgusting example of an American success story that we should be ashamed of from the beginning of his career to the present time. Amen. I agree. There you have it, folks. And we're going to talk a little bit more about Stormy Daniels and Roseanne when we come back. <laughs> I'm two of my least favorite people. <laughs> Love my phone one nine. Brought to you in Popeye.
the Joe Hamill team of Key Realty. Voted by you, the 419, Toledo City Paper's best realtor. Love My 419 is brought to you in part by 360 Painting, the residential and commercial painting experts. Contact them today for more information or to book a quote, please call 419-360-9121. Welcome back to Love My 419. My name is Nick. I'm here with Sandy and Steve this week. I'm in for Billy D, who's out. Billy D. Billy D. <laughs> I love that. Billy D. Williams. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> Anyways, we got some good stuff from... Uh, we do. Our friends over at 360 Painting. Now, you know spring is soon going to be here, right? True. Well, it was okay. supposed to be here a week and a half ago. Well, okay. it was. Well, Randy is hooking you guys up with a huge deal, okay? If you mention you heard Love My 419 and you book a quote by calling 419-360-9121, you get a free exterior power car wash. Oh. What, he's gonna do the car wash? I, he could. He or somebody. Else. Anything can happen, Sandy. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's enthusiastic about that, but there you go. Speaking of anything happening. Yes. Good stuff happening. Yes. Stormy was interviewed. <gasps> Did you see it? Rough. She Ooh. did. Ooh. Be nice to her. Hot oil I'm treatment. Not, no, I'm not being mean to her, but I don't know if she did that to garner sympathy or not. But man, she had lousy makeup job. Oh, I said the same thing. She needed a hot oil treatment, and oil of Olay was not doing her any favors. I'm well, just saying. Sponsor her? They should have. <laughs> <laughs> they should have. But it was. I mean, you know what? It. it we learned a little bit more. more it was than interesting. I, to know, I know. Do I care? If you saw, I love oh. the part where she said, where Donald, you know, was talking about himself on this magazine. She referenced, oh, you're really into yourself. And he's like, boy, I kind of am. You need to be spanked. Could you imagine? Close your eyes for a minute and imagine Donald Trump dropping trow, you know, showing his fruit of balloons. her wadding up the Newsweek <laughs> with his face plastered all over and spanking him in the kitchen. I'm Can you imagine? My, I'm gonna keep my eyes she open. spanked him in the kitchen. That's what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> he spanked him in the kitchen. That's where all the magic happens. That's right. <laughs> uh, the thought of that picture really grosses Awful. me out. It's so early on a Sunday morning and it's also Easter Sunday. It is. It all is. All right, so let's move on to a, a more uh, <laughs> yeah. palatable clean topic. Pa yeah. Roseanne. Oh. Roseanne. Roseanne. So good. Came back this week. So good. I. They yeah. hit all the dynamics. I mean, it was really, really different. They're very funny. They're very. Oh, Roseanne is is hilarious. Yeah. She's off her game a little bit. You can tell. But I feel like all these reboots that keep happening, everybody's a little bit rusty. Well, I but it comes back, know, you know. Don't they have anything new to well, write about, talk about? Well, they've been off about. the air for twenty years. I mean, you know. She had a lot <laughs> of work done. Man. Yeah. 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 Well, I would too if I had that kind of money, I guess. I no guess. kidding. <laughs> but I love the dynamics of the show. Can we talk about the little dude that had the, the plaid skirt? Who was that? Her grandchild? Grandchild, yeah. Oof. That's a story waiting to happen. Well, there's probably going to be a story. There's going to be a whole I, lot of stories. I think what's interesting is just the concept that, you know, there are people of all walks of life, identities, they've thrown it in. American families are diverse. Just very like diverse. Very yeah. different. Yeah. I think they did a nice job of highlighting that, and I'm curious to see how the show goes. I am very curious to yeah. see. So, it'll but be I, interesting. I, I've always loved Roseanne. I feel like most of them, people are going to laugh, but I feel like my politics growing up when I was a kid were shaped by Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> there so you go. Second. What do you think about that? Yeah, Everybody's really, happy. That they bothers me. me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to play around, I promise. There you oh, go. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Hey, for me, I baby. love it. <laughs> Anyways, we'll be back with some more Love My 419 in just a few minutes. Whatever. <laughs> love My 419. Brought to you in part by Powell's Beauty Supply. Servicing Toledo for over 30 years. Also brought to you by The Butler. Master Barber, changing lives one haircut at a time. Find him inside the Operations Barber Shop, 1824 North Reynolds Road. Coming up, more Love My 419. Nationwide Auto Finance wants to thank you. We are moving tons of vehicles and always restocking our inventory. Come see our cars, trucks, and SUVs, models as new as 2016 and models as low as 20,000. Bring us your trade in. Drag it, push it, pull it. We don't care how you get it here. We need your old vehicle and you need a new one. For 20 years, we've been your buy here, pay here dealer, and we still are. Planners are waiting to approve you. Bring us your trade in. 
bring us your valid license, latest pay stub, and down payment, and we will get you in a vehicle at Nationwide Auto Finance. Everybody, thanks for staying with us. We're back this morning. I'm Nick, not Bill, in case you haven't figured that part out yet. I'm with two of my favorite Toledo and well, sort of Toledo and Sandy and Steve. <laughs> yes. I'll concern. Well, I guess we're talking about the 419, so that's important. Yes. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the 419, we got nationwide auto finance. We do. Wow. So check this out. It's tax season 419. And we got to welcome them back because yes, they were sponsors. They They're back yes. now. We're so happy to have them. They're giving you a 60-day warranty on a purchase. So take that tax refund. Mention you watch the show on your next car buy and almost on all vehicles. So you got to see how and he will put you up there. And you should see that lot with all those cars to choose from. Oh, oh my breath. goodness. Yes. Hundreds of cars. Hundreds of cars. Yes. Thanks. Uh, auto Town. Yep, yes, we're glad to have him back. And too. speaking of jobs in an Auto Town. The 419 Stories, you need to know! We got a youth job fair coming up. Yeah. I don't think we're going to put kids to work in an auto factory. No, but, no. But, but a lot of summer jobs, which will be great. Yep, a lot of yep. different areas. Yep. <clears throat> that's yep. at the Seagate Center. Yes. And that's on April 14th. Right. And if day you're, before taxes. I day do, before taxes. Yeah. Which means I have to do mine. Yeah. Right soon. <laughs> I gotta do mine still too. Mine are done. Hate done, it. Done, done, I don't done. want to even hear that. From done. You. <laughs> well, when I'm done, I might go to McDonald's. And yes. I hope that when I do and I get a kid's meal, because I always do, there better be a hot <laughs> mix tape. Hot mix yes. tape. McDonald's Happy Meal. Now, oh, where do we it. begin? Okay, so <laughs> to Sean Granger, okay. He's he worked at McDonald's and he got crafty and entrepreneurial. He just said, you know what? I'm going to get out there. I'm going to slip my mixtape in the Happy Meals of about 300 kids in Chicago. Okay, now the name of it, and I'm going to change the name to protect the innocent. He's calling it Tales of a Real Chocolate Child. That's the name of this, okay? He decided to do this. Now he's got some interesting titles, songs on there. You might be, okay, Freedom of the Fry. <laughs> Apple Pie Anger <laughs> and Shamrock Shakedown. Oh, okay, yeah. this is some of the hits. On his CD. I really, really I can't mean, wait what's for in his that holiday. Album. You got? Oh my God, I'm telling you. <laughs> But Do we I, have you, time for you to read that you letter? You can't hate him. Yes. Do we have okay. time? We have, okay. Now, I, evidently, Sarah version. Platt was what <laughs> her child got the CD. Can you imagine? She's driving down the road. She pops it in. And afterwards, she goes on to say, I bought my son a Happy Meal, and inside came a mysterious CD. I, like any other parent, would assume the CD was for children. I played the CD in my car from my son while we drove him, and Lord Jesus have mercy on Tyshawn. The mixtape was dreadful. <laughs> Not only was it completely inappropriate, but it also had the weakest set of bars she had ever heard. Thank you, Sarah Platt, for your musical prowess. Now, Thank I, you. I feel bad because this poor guy got fired from his job, right? Oh, so he well, might want to come to the Seagate Youth Fair. Listen, at least, he's not, at least he's not at right. United Airlines. Right. Oh. I mean, they're all not... dragging people off planes. <laughs> we can't even go there. We can't even go there. We're I just be want back. to hear Freedom of the Fry. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll listen to that during the break. We're going to be right back with more Love My 419 in just a moment. Love My 419, brought to you in part by... Amy's Cleaning Service, the Wonder Woman of Cleaning. Feature your business now on Love My 419. Now back to Love My 419 on NBC24. Welcome back to Love My 419. My name is Nick. I'm here with Stephen Sandy. We're about to talk about some fun in the 419, but first we're going to talk about mugs. Mugs. <laughs> the pop. My mug. Mug, your mug, your <laughs> mug, <laughs> your t-shirt. Oh, okay. Mug. But that's the popularity of this show. We are just getting, people are wanting to advertise on the yeah, show. Yeah, so we got these great mugs. We do from our new sponsors, sponsors. Just Another T-Shirt Company. But I these love are mugs. The, but these are mugs. I love this. But so these they're just are showing special. their vast array of these things that they These are special did. mugs. They because. are. They have Harold Jaffe Jewelers on You can the advertise two things at once. Yes, on it's very at cool. And you want to know how to get yours? Give the guys a call at 419-827-8622. Should we cheers? I cheers. I think cheers. we should. This cheers. is all water, we promise. Yeah. <laughs> Fun in the 
Uh, <laughs> city water? City water. City water. It's safe. Oh, algae it's free. It's safe. It's algae free right it now. Is. It's not the summer. All right, so. We got we got, we got some stuff coming up. We do. Yeah, we got a charity hockey game. Charity on hockey 4 game. Yes. Cops versus Red Wings. I love it. At Tam O'Shanner at 7 p.m. The real Red Wings? I think these are retirees of Let's, the Red Wings I, or something. I think we should <laughs> probably go with that. I'm I think saying. Zetterberg would totally take out any police officer. Yes. And who loves art? I love art. art I love art. What's art. his last name? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your business, okay? <laughs> anyway, the Arts Commission is really kicking into high gear. April 20th, we have a big party yep. going on called The Mix. It's at Ford Industry Square. And I think the name of it this year is Beacon. Yes. Which is, if you've never been to one of the Arts Commission parties, I strongly Always suggest. Fun. Lots of food, lots to look at, great to network. Yep. It's just a great, great time. You had me at food. 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 Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hook you up. So Wait. I got a great invitation. Just imagine, you know, we all like to cook. Okay. Speak for There's yourself. a group here in Toledo called Foodology. Okay. Yes. And roughly for between thirty and eighty dollars, you can go ahead and take a cooking class. Every oh, yeah. weekend they do a different type of cooking. You can do it with your kids. You don't have to do any of the grocery shopping. You don't have to clean Where any of the at? dishes. And you get to take the, just go on to foodology.com and it moves around the city. Oh. So they'll tell you where it's at. But it's usually from about two and a half to three hours. And you go to foodologytoledo.com to get registered and check. What a gig. You don't have to grocery shop or cook. Right. That's beautiful. I mean, or, or clean up. Me. It sounds good. So. I prefer not to cook. No, but that's even more fun. I don't you don't mind, have you to. You know what? I don't mind cooking. I hate cleaning up. Yeah. Well, and that's you great. don't have to do that either. So right. Perfect. So that's Well, we're going to close out the show in just a few minutes, and we'll be right back with some more Love My 419. Fire Cushion. Your promise, your commitment, so magnificent, it will ignite her passion. Its unmatched beauty expresses the power of your love. The most perfectly cut, most gorgeous cushion diamond in all the world. Fire Cushion, exclusively at Harold Jaffe. And there you have it, Glass City. The victory is complete. Many attempts, many trips down 75 to 23 around the sugar tanks in Finley. No cigar every time. Not since 1990 and the Scott Bulldogs boys team have we been able to accomplish what we just did here tonight. Division II state champions are your Rogers, ladies Rams, and Zy Cook. What can we say? Once again, she delivered. And you thought she would not? In case you were wondering, she said this one was for Granny. And what do you do for Granny in the state championship game? 33 points, 14 rebounds, three steals, a couple of assists. Dare I say, she was locked in. So we're locked in to the trophy, Glass City. We did it. We're state champions once again. TPS is on top. Congratulations, Romulus Durant, all the Toledo Public Schools, Rogers High School. You are king. Love your 419 like we do. And thank you, 419. And thank you, Joe Hamill and Key Realty, for bringing us here. Love my 419 sports in the building. We'll see you at the next stop. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, they laugh in the media room every year. The Toledo team, they be snickering. The boys come down here all the time, y'all know that. Wait, girls came, everybody came. It's always a joke, the 419 team. I don't think it's funny today, though. I don't think it's that funny today, though. Is the weapon the time ticking that the forces don't get you then the lord is still with you uh the unforsaken my passport bitten like the fruit in the garden of eating when you eating blowing fruit from the garden of eating we still eating watch the interpol agents straight through the faces unidentified the tribe out in ancient throwback swag we fly in the ancients 
Hey everybody, welcome back for the final time today. We're gonna give a closing thought here. Let's start with Sandy. I really don't have much except that the president once again shows that he has absolutely no class. And once again, I'm gonna wish my son a happy birthday. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. I like it. Steve? I like it. Congratulations to the boys out at Acceleration Gymnastics who produced four Winners. individual state champions and two championship runner-up teams. Yeah. So Congrats. it was a great week. I want to applaud the parents for all their support because yeah. this was their first time in gymnastics and they did really well. That's so, awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. I gotta say that I'm gonna be joining you next week. Bill's gonna be out one more week, so you guys are stuck with me yet well, again. Oh, we're happy to have you. Yes. Uh, and I don't have to listen to Bill's dribble about that imbecile in the White House. <laughs> there you go. So we'll be back with less of that dribble next week. We'll see you then. <laughs> Bye, all.